Welcome back to The Sweetest Solvers. My name is Sinclair, and this is my sweet mate, Lisa. We're running a series in which we discuss murder mysteries and conspiracies and try to get to the bottom of what really happened. In this week's episode, we'll be talking about the New Bedford Highway Killer. From March of 1988 to April of 1989, an unidentified serial killer murdered at least nine women and caused the disappearances of two additional women and possibly assaulted many women as well. What did they all have in common? They were all known sex workers and also dealt with struggles with addiction. The women lived in New Bedford and were found in nearby towns like Dartmouth, Freetown, and Westport. These areas ran along Route 140. However, there is reason to believe that they had all been taken from New Bedford since that was the last place they had each been seen alive. The women's ages ranged from 19 to 36 years old and after they disappeared, they were usually found within days. The bodies were usually found with bruises and strangulation marks. There are four suspects, Kenneth C. Pont, a New Bedford attorney who was indicted in August 1990 for beating a former client to death and feared that she'd expose his drug habits. There was no evidence linking him to any crime, but he was found dead in his home 20 years later. Then there was Anthony De Grazia, a 26-year-old construction worker whose picture who was presented to a locally known New Bedford sex worker in the Weld Square area of New Bedford, Massachusetts. He later died. His death was ruled a suicide after being charged with 17 allegations of rapes and assaults. And then there was Daniel Tavares Jr. Um, while in prison for the murder of his mother, Daniel sent a photo, I mean, not a photo, a threatening letter to the prison staff claiming that he was responsible for the highway killings. And he too lived in New Bedford. Yeah. Uh, but there was no hard evidence like obviously he, he was probably I think just he was just trying to get credit for something you know yeah people were weird like that uh, like a, that's an accomplishment i guess and then there was the lisbon ripper oh yes, yes lisbon 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 portugal lisbon so, there was a similar case in lisbon portugal of this man like ripping um, yeah, and, it, and you would have thought it was with a knife, but it's not. Yeah, he didn't use a knife. I don't know what... It, nobody knows what the murder weapon was. All they know is that it's not a knife. Yeah, and um, they just said, I think, like, two two Portuguese. Why, you, why did you Because I started, I was imagining, I was like, what could it be? I was like, what if it was a wrench? A wrench? <laughs> a wrench? There was two Portuguese detectives that traveled to New Bedford, and um, then there was two, then two agents of the FBI traveled to Lisbon, and they concluded that they could have been, like, connected. Yeah, they thought that the man from Lisbon went like somehow moved to the US and became like a long haul mm -hmm. truck driver. And also there was like stuff that happened in like Denmark and Germany. Living and the like American that. dream. So since that they happened since they happened on the both sides of the Atlantic, everybody's like it Yeah. It could have been Yeah, it could have been yeah. And they and then they said that he could have been or they could have been a long haul truck driver. Driving in the ocean, I guess. But, uh, yes. Then, this guy, he was on a, like, a reality show. Mm -hmm. And he, the reality show was about, like, telling people secrets. Like, people are supposed to guess your secrets, I guess. Yeah, and, yeah, and, you're supposed to guess people's secrets, but try to protect your own. Yeah, and then I think, like, he came out and said that his dad was... The new Bedford killer. Yeah, and... He, his dad completely was out. No, no, no. He said that his dad was the Lisbon Ripper. Sorry. He completely outed his father. But the thing is, is like, I guess the laws there is like you can't be tried for a crime that happened more than 15 years ago. And all of the Lisbon rippings were like 15 plus years prior. Is that, is that kind of like the Miranda thing? Miranda rights? No, Miranda rights is like you have the right to remain silent. You have the oh, right no, to no. an attorney. What was the thing that like if. It happened hella long know, ago. Right? Oh, you can't be tried again. What was that thing? Oh, that's a different thing. Yeah. I don't know what it's called. Yeah. I'll just put it up here. Yeah. Okay. But I think that was a long shot. I feel like none of these people did it, to be honest with you. But if you had to choose, I would say 
May, maybe Daniel. He, he couldn't. Daniel, the the letter writer. Yeah. Yeah, I would say it was Daniel. He killed his own mom. I don't know what else he could have done to yeah. women. They always say like, however a man treats his mom is how he's gonna treat his woman, and he killed his mom. So. <laughs> <laughs> and so, yeah. Yeah. So he probably murdered a lot of women. And I think it's just interesting. You know, on this show, if you just watch other, like, episodes, we're just big advocates for sex workers. Like, we've always yeah. been like, y'all always giving them a hard time. Sex workers are just trying to do their job. Exactly. And make money. Like, yeah. And you just be killing them? Yeah. Like, there's other people that do drugs. Yeah. Go to Wall Street. I don't know. Wall Street. Yeah, you know, one of the, the victim sisters said that, like, it made her mad that people, like, even though she had drug addiction, doesn't mean that she's disposable yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, they, they, yeah, I, I know exactly yeah. what she's trying to know. One of the sisters was like, every time she drives by that, she gets so upset because they threw away her sister as if she was nothing. Just because you do drugs doesn't mean you're nothing. Like, mm -hmm. okay, you do drugs, maybe that's not the best for your health. But, but like, so, I mean, people be eating a lot and getting diabetes and nobody be throwing them away. Yeah. But like, hey, diabetes. I'm not, I'm not saying kill diabetes. No, that's what I'm trying to say. I'm just saying everybody makes poor decisions for their health. We're not gonna. Yeah. You can't hate me because I'm gonna eat a cupcake. Exactly. And don't hate me because I have drug problems. Yeah. Love I feel everybody. like often, often they look at them as like bad people rather than victims. You know? Yeah. Because yeah. it's it's mostly usually it's like the system failing them and that's why. Yeah. Actually, yeah, a lot of rehab and like turnaround homes, all that stuff, they look at them as a policy number rather than like people. Mm -hmm. And they profit off of them. It's like a, 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 there's actually a good Vice documentary, y'all should watch it. It's like about like the drug problem in Florida and like Florida's having a freaking carnival with drug addicts because it's just crazy. Yeah. Yeah. And like for our project we're gonna do for that class, uh, it was talking about how like ethnic and minority children are less likely to receive like mental health like services and then late, later on in life they become like more likely to fall into drugs and fall into like you know the wrong crowd and stuff so like when I hear about these women that are all addicted to drugs at like 20 and 30 like hey that's then they probably just didn't get the help they needed at the time yeah Working as a sex worker, you probably just didn't get the help she needed. So another thing with sex workers too is like, I feel like a lot of them think, oh, like a bottom of a barrel job. And I feel like There's it takes jobs. a lot. That takes a lot. Like I can't yeah. even go up on in front of the class and give a presentation on mental health or something. Yeah. And yeah. let alone sit and sell myself on the street. You yeah. know, I can't sell anything. It takes a lot. <laughs> so of, I am not a doing lot that. To do that. And not even just prostitution, yeah. like you know, dancers. I'm not doing that. I remember no. one time we <laughs> had doing. for Girl Scouts, we had a like, um, we had a car wash or whatever. We had to like stand on the like, on the road, mm -hmm. like asking people if they wanted a car wash, bro. That was terrifying, and exactly. I got flipped off by so many people. I wish I had 12, a, the confidence of a sex worker. Yeah, sex workers got confidence. That's yes. one thing for and sure. And drive. And drive. Because you couldn't pay me enough to do that. Well, I mean... <laughs> hey, maybe, maybe. <laughs> um, uh, yeah. There's definitely a price for everything. Who do you think, who do you think they It was definitely the mama killer. For sure. Oh, Daniel. Yeah. I just don't think it was that one that's a construction worker. Because, not saying that killing has an age limit but like 26 year old construction workers like i don't um, know i mean menendez brothers killed their parents so much younger so. yeah i don't it, know i just don't really, think it's him what i just don't think it's him because it's like, definitely daniel i already made up my mind yeah daniel i think it's daniel but there was one anthony uh like, he couldn't take it, bro. I don't even know if it was really a suicide. It was just a ruled one. But, like, imagine, like, oh, someone said, yeah, he's the one that choked me to death. And then and then a bunch of other people were like, yeah, him too. 
Me too. Me too. Seven like hundred. Seventeen people. people. I would probably just Wait, off myself. Wait, but those <laughs> too proven, much going on. Were those proven? Like yes. No, I think like they were really about to close the case, and then he just was like, Nah, boy, I can't take it. I can't take it. You think he did do that to seventeen girls? I don't know, but I feel like it was just. Like the way that they saw, like put the time, it was like in the matter mm -hmm. of days, everybody was like, yeah, that does look like the guy. But like, I don't know, the girl that said that he did, like he kind of looked like him, she wasn't like certain. Like she was just like, oh, so just... yeah, like he did have a long nose like that. Dang. <laughs> yeah. So maybe not Anthony, but it's kind of sus that he just happened to kill himself. Yeah. I think it's very sus that two of them were found dead, though. Mm hmm. Wasn't Daniel dead at the time? Um, they were all dead. No, Kenneth died too, like in 2009. It's definitely not Lisbon Ripper, that's it. That's all I could tell you. I narrowed it down. Case solved. Case solved. That's um. Like, that's. Are you gonna say it? <laughs> That's one crime. Wait. <laughs> That's one mystery solved. solved. Join us, us next, next time, time when we solve our next crime. crime.